to ensure that the rail project continues to move forward, or should there happen to be a candidate who is against rail, what would your position and your alternative be? Thanks, Dash. Um, I'm 100% in support of the project that, that has been designed and we need to build it. I put in the initial bills that jump started the debate after this lady in pink had something to do with the previous one, but now 100% supporter of, of our rail project. And um, it led to the task force that the governor created that resulted in the recommendation that we build an elevated rail system through the urban core, 22 miles, pretty much the track, the train route that we're talking about today. And why do I support it? Two reasons. One, we owe it to the people who live on this end of the island to turn the streets from parking lots into better flowing traffic and to give people the alternative to get out of their cars and ride a train that come, no matter what's happening on the ground, you can go from Kapolei to Alamoana in 42 minutes every day, every three minutes during rush hour. It's about giving people choice. It's about giving people the opportunity to get out of their cars. And that is what government does. We cannot just continue paving over our Ina. We live on a small island and we paved enough. We gotta respect the Ina, we gotta find another way to live. And that means no longer dependent on our automobiles for everything. We own more automobiles today than there are people on this island. We need to address that issue. In addition, it's gonna create tens of thousands of jobs. It's gonna redesign this city and how we live. It's gonna protect the outlying ag lands so we can keep them for future growing of food and fuel and do better with the lands already zoned, zoned urban. So we can live closer to where we work so we can be productive at work and closer to where we live so we can be at home with our loved ones. That's how life was when we were younger. We need to work towards that goal again. So I make no uh, equivocation here. I support the system. We need to build it. I would like to see the governor accept the FEIS tomorrow. Thank you. In my opinion, we all owe a debt, not only to Mr. Caldwell, Caldwell but for Ruby Hanneman for getting this going. What it's you hear about rail is that there is a lot of truths and a lot of half-truths. So the mayor stood in front of City Hall and he said, looking at you in the eye, that rail will reduce traffic by 40,000 cars. True. But the environmental document says that rail will reduce the traffic by 40,000 car trips. Today, you're going to take three, four, five, or six car trips with your car. The environmental document also says that every day we do, on a on a four million trips. So, as I've been saying since 2004, and the environmental document clearly says it, the rail is the 1% solution. You are welcome to it to pay six billion for it. Look at them, fine choices. I will stop the rail dead on its tracks. It's the worst project we will probably ever do. It is not gonna help you at all. What you need is traffic relief. You don't need a choo-choo. Chuchu never brings any traffic relief. It's a planner's pipe dream and a developer's gravy train. What will solve your congestion is traffic lights and more lanes. You cannot bring 250,000 people here and not build any lanes. This is insane money. What is the solution? You can see it anywhere. We published it in 2008. Our University of Hawaii congestion study. Reversible hot lanes. One third the price, 30% congestion relief. You address a traffic problem with traffic solutions. You address a transit problem with transit solutions. Couple lane does not have a transit problem. It has a traffic problem. You got to focus. Stay focused. Do not believe it. Nobody ever built a rail to solve congestion problems. Thank you. I, for example, if I don't leave my house before 7 o'clock, I'll 
I won't leave my house until after 8 o'clock so that I don't get into stuck in traffic going to City Hall and, and spend about 20 minutes. And I only live about 10 minutes away, quite frankly, from City Hall. So imagine the traffic congestion in downtown. Now, basically, when we were deciding on the rail, we had better economic times. Today, we're in bad economic times. But let's not give up the hope. Let's look in terms of realistically how we can make it possible, those that we want it possible, in terms of funding. I was a budget analyst before I became an elected official. And I know that we can work on it. Look at various innovative ways in terms of funding the mass transportation, whether it be the technology of rail or buses or what have you. And, and, and then we do have a traffic congestion. So let's address it. Let's not add more cars on the road where everybody gets frustrated. More accidents occur. Thank you. Last year I had the pleasure of going out and seeing somebody at Big Sisters and Big Brothers, and she was a student, and she wanted to get her master's degree. And to get from her place, which was in Eva, to HPU downtown, she had to be on a bus at 4.15 in the morning to get there by a 7.45 class. What was her life like during that time? Stuck in traffic, possibly a crowded bus, and waiting to get three hours, two to three hours to get downtown. Miserable and unpleasant. We owe those of us who live on other parts of the island a debt to the people who are on this side of the island. When they fixed up Hawaii Kai, you were paying the taxes for the widening of that road. When they fixed up the Windward side with a great road to nowhere, the H3, which is now at such a capacity that the only thing they have difficulty doing is maintaining it. And it's one of the most beautiful roads on the planet Earth. You were paying, if you were out here, for us doing that. It is your turn, and it is your turn now. And what you need more than anything else is somebody who can take that credible message to other parts of the island. In the long run, it's my hope to see a rail that doesn't just go from here to downtown to the university. I'd love to see it go across the Coco Labs. I'd love to see it go up to Waipahu. I'd love to see it go all the way to Waianae, and ultimately, all the way to Waikai, stopping right outside my lazy door. That's what I'd like to see. Thank you. Now, my position is clear. I support rail transit because it's our opportunity to responsibly grow Honolulu through transit-oriented development. We can curb urban sprawl, keep the country country, focus development along the rail line. This is our opportunity to encourage more workforce housing, retail and com commercial opportunities, and walkable communities. This is our chance to prevent additional gridlock and promote and encourage green and sustainable development. I helped draft and pass the current transit-oriented development ordinance, as well as the Public Transit Authority charter question that will be on the November ballot. The Public Transit Authority will allow for more transparency and public participation. Ensure that local residents are hired because of its powers to negotiate and sign project labor agreements. It also will allow for public-private partnerships and be given the power to enter into contracts. This allows for a tremendous amount of flexibility necessary to build and achieve a cost-effective development and rail system. According to city projections, we will have an ad additional 115,000 people by 2025. We'll need to provide housing for the population increase. According to the alternatives analysis for mass transit, the rail system will need 95,000 riders a day to break even. It only makes sense that we provide housing and commercial opportunities along the stations to accommodate the population increase and encourage residents to make use of the rail system. Proper planning will ensure the rail system is successful. Vertical transit development is essential to avoiding urban sprawl. Urban sprawl means more roads, more sidewalks, more sewers, expanding government services, and more city infrastructure. Taxpayers cannot afford to maintain and upkeep infrastructure in urban sprawl. In the long run, rail-focused development means Honolulu gets more efficient government services we make better use of tax dollars. As mayor, I recommend amending the general plan 
and the land use ordinances to encourage and direct growth along, along the rail line. Mahal.